Hey guys, I just logged on to Clever and I'm going to try to add um, the TEs, the electronic TEs to my Clever. So uh, somewhere on your screen, hopefully you've already added in Pearson EasyBridge. So go ahead and click that. Okay, and then this screen pops up. So um, I just found out that if you go to future classes, you'll see all the products that are available. And I'm going to add in, let's see, I'm going to add in reading right here. And then usually because it's all Pearson, they all kind of pop up. So I want ReadyGen Common Core Grade 1. And I want Envisions Math Grade 1. And I don't think any of this stuff down there works, but uh, I think that's it. Just those two things. Last year I added investigations for grade one, but I don't think we have access to it. So I'm going to click Save. Okay, and then those two items now are on my, um, have student rosters that are, that should populate for ReadyGen and for Envisions. So now let's click them and we'll see if that works. So actually, let's see. I'm going to try going back to Clever again. So I closed out that window. Pearson Easy Bridge. And still comes up in future classes. So that's okay. I can find it here. So let's say I want to go on ReadyGen. Perfect. And so now you can see I've got three programs in here. I, I still have the investigations even though I didn't add it, which is really funny. It must remember from last year. So you can access your math TE from here if you're interested in doing that. And if you go back, you can also access your, your um, Ready Gen TE from here. So I was going to go ahead and try to figure out this baseline assessment and get the instructions printed for everybody. So I'll do that while I've still got the video going. So I would go to baseline assessment teacher resources and then I think I can click either one of these but the answer key you could click but I'm going to click this one the PDF just to see if the instruction packet is on the end. And it is not. So let me try the answer sheet again. Try teacher resources, answer key. Let's see, we'll scroll through all this. And we've got bunch of different ways to how to grade it and all that, but I don't see. Let's go through here and just quickly look. Okay, this is the running record part of it. Oh yeah, so the instructions then are right here. I'm going to go ahead and download it and I should be able to print it for everybody but it gives you the instructions for what to say for each one of those items, okay? So I, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll email this to everybody right now along with this video. Okay, and if anybody has any questions about how to assign, like for a baseline assessment, I think if the kids had their Chromebooks, we could assign it online, um, but I think we all decided we would just give the paper test instead because we're not sure about Chromebooks. But a lot of the things that we printed for you that are ready, Jen, and also even for the math, you can assign these tests online. And uh, if you click up here where it says classes, I'm going to do it right now just to see. Um, looks like I've got a class in there. And if I wanted to see data 
after I um, had, you know, had given a kids an online assessment, I would see it right here. Okay, hope this video was helpful, and let me know if you have any questions.